I thought I found it really moving. I find it. I felt, felt incredibly proud. I see. I, I, I'm always slightly worried by the fact that he was so much thinner than I am, though too. But never a chance to get in. <laughs> into the uniform but um and the orders too which really are extraordinary i found actually recently there was a um an order that kaiser wilhelm gave my grandfather there too and that is extraordinary there too and that was i think in sort of 1900 and i also have a, a, a photo of kaiser wilhelm um and my grandfather when my grandfather in, from about 1889 when my grandfather was a lieutenant and he's showing Kaiser Wilhelm the, um, a, how to operate a breach action gun there too. It's extraordinary, 1889, Lieutenant J.R. Jellicoe, and then, what, 20, 30 years later, there he is, you know, Commander-in-Chief of uh, the Grand Fleet, the British Navy, and uh, battling against, just extraordinary, absolutely extraordinary. I think, I think when you see the damage, um, inflicted on the various ships there too. That's just extraordinary there too. You know, the splinters, the I mean the amount of sort of um, metal flying through the through the air must have just the whole thing must have been just horrendous there too. And I always I, mean, I just I'm always horrified about the sort of the, the age, the youth of so many of the sailors. You see Jack Cornwall. But I think there are lots of other sort of members of the Naval Reserve uh, who were just, you know, early teens. And that's just, that I find just, especially having a two and a half, a two year old, the two, I think that brings it back, the two.